Greetings, Jay Stone here on another beautiful day to be alive on the Cap and Ball Chronicles. This week on the Cap and Ball Chronicles, I'm going to respond to a viewer question. And actually, I've had this question about seven or eight times, but it's best represented by this right here that says, Hey, Jay Stone, I've always wondered if barrel length makes a difference in revolver velocity and energy. So, does barrel length matter? Let's check it out. All right, to test our theory that barrel length does in fact matter in terms of velocity and energy, here's how we're gonna do this today here on the Cap and Ball Fanatic Range. We're gonna shoot off against the 1860 Army made by Pieta, 44 caliber, with an eight inch barrel. And we're gonna shoot that against, through the chronograph, against our 1860 Army Sheriff model with a five and a quarter inch barrel, also made by Pieta. Both revolvers will be loaded with 25 grains of Swiss 3F black powder, lubed wads over the powder, and a 454 home cast round ball ignited by Remington number 10 caps. We're gonna shoot six from each through the chronograph, and we're gonna take our measurements and take our results and we're gonna see how, the, how, we, how, how each one of them does. Now remember, my hypothesis here is twofold. One is, is that I believe this test will show us that longer barrel does lead to an increase in velocity and energy, but I also believe that it will be significantly more, that, we, that the long barrel will lead to significantly more velocity and foot pounds of energy. And by significant, I mean, it will be outside the mar the plus or minus 5% margin of error. So let's get loaded up, head out to the range. I shot the chronograph. I shot the chronograph, but it's still working. That's a machine right there. So let's go. <laughs> let's go fix the chronograph and take six more. This has turned out to be quite a video. You saw me shoot the right front leg of the chronograph and uh, it kept working. So I just put it back together and we'll see if we can get six more, six more shots through these things with good readings before we put it away for the night and see, see if we have to replace it. You know, I spend all my time shooting at targets and missing. I'm trying to miss the chronograph and guess what? Hit it dead on. So, six more. I got readings. Good reading. Good reading and hit a steel target. Good reading and hit a steel target. Two more. Let's go, to, let's go take a look at the results and see if I, my hypothesis was correct. And as you recall, my hypothesis is, is that bear, the longer barrel would increase velocity and energy significantly. So what did we learn? We learned that my hypothesis was both proven and disproven. It was proven because the 1860 Army 44 caliber with an eight inch barrel produced higher velocity and higher foot pounds of energy than the uh, 1860 Army five and a quarter inch barrel sheriff model. However, 
it was disproven because the results weren't significantly more. By that, I mean, they didn't fall outside the margin of error. What does that mean for a result? We learned that barrel does size does length does matter, just not as much as I would have thought, at least in this test on this day. All right, thanks for coming. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again on down the road the next time. Hey, while you're here on YouTube, don't forget, why don't you check out this video right over here before you retire for the evening.